What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lorelei. So we're here at the old folks retirement home, ready to start our new job. We got the, uh, the necessary equipment last uh, episode and uh, we should be good to go. I just need to find, uh, I think I need to report to the senior caretaker, I'm not sure, but I think so. Let me just uh, wander around a bit. Corridor. I can see another staircase from here. Right, let's check this way. So we got a door. The name tag on this door is missing. Shouldn't I be doing something else? I should, but uh, I mean. Uh, it's the bathroom door. Bathroom. Quite the standard bathroom. Is it chlorine tablets? I think these are used for cleaning. By the smell alone, I can tell it's powerful stuff. All right, let's take it. We might be able to get high on it <laughs> if our job is too boring. So this is the staff toilet. Good to know. Staff toilet. Can we? Yeah, all right. We got some toilet paper. It's just some cheap toilet paper. Hey. Just took that for uh, whatever purpose. Okay. Let me just uh, stop goofing around here. Oh, there's some. It's the second staircase leading down to the main lounge. Okay, let's uh, let's use the main stairs, just in case I don't want to skip anything important or something. I don't know. All right, let's use these stairs. Also, I'm already stealing. Uh, <laughs> I'm already stealing uh, property. It's for staff and visitors, I think stuff from my job so no it's not a good way to start any I gig I don't have to use it it probably takes hours to it looks shabby probably been used a lot all right we've uh, noted all of this oh that this is a famous painting I can't recall uh... is it, isn't that the one mr. bean fucked up and then he draw like a really weird face on it so we have the spirit of 43 playing on channel 3 here. Some cartoons, old timey cartoons. Let me just, uh. Oh! Oh, Donald's, you shouldn't be. <laughs> you shouldn't be playing with your money like that. Oh, what's gonna happen? Did he transform into a snob? I don't know. Spend and be merry. I'm sorry, I'm just taking my time watching the cartoons. Hey, Daniel, you wanna see what I can what I can buy with this money? No. Oh, they're like oh, they proposing stuff for him to buy. Okay. Oh, he's got some in income taxes due. Is this a lesson on how you should uh, save your money? I think so. No, f fuck the savings, fuck income tax. Just spend the money on th these products. Why is the... Why is this uh, duck Scottish? I don't know what the hell. Okay, enough of cartoons. I'm sorry, people. Maybe some of you wanted to watch the ending, but... Uh... I mean, we got a job to do. Can't be spending all day Alma lives here. looking at cartoons. I don't get paid for that. You took your time, didn't you? Oh, sorry. I was watching Are telly. Are you always late for everything? Uh, fuck. I might be in trouble here. I was just changing my clothes like you told me. Don't give me the attitude. Or I'll make sure Mr. B hears about this. This is a serious institution. There's no room here for slackers. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. 
He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. We must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because uh. you were late. All right, cool it. We get it. There I was late. There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Some can be aggressive. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you, and... Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. But... You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha, then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours, too. Really? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? All right. I guess we're stuck with uh, Maria here. Uh... So, I guess you're stuck with me now. Yeah, I knew this day would suck as soon as I opened my eyes. Oh, come on. What if I'm the best carer ever born and I just don't know it yet? That's what I'm secretly hoping for. I will make you proud. You'll see. Where are those old people? Let's go care for them. Easy, girl. <laughs> it's a 12-hour shift. Fucking hell. We'll have plenty of time for caring. Pulling a double shift on our first go. Nice. All right, did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? Well, I think it's official now. Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? No. Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. That's between me and you, yeah? Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. Like earlier, it wasn't really a good idea to argue with her about being late. She'll always have her way. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. So... What do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. Like any chef. <laughs> that's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. You probably went past it earlier. Oh yeah, wasn't... Fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know, boring. But you'll be getting your fire training every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh, it's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll start with Marjorie. She's a nice lady. Follow me. All right. So we got Dorothy, Marjorie, here. It says Marjorie on the door. Oh, we just go in. Yep. 
Oh. Hello, my darling. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelai with us today. Hello. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. I think she's dead. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, is she all right? She's fine. Yeah. Audrey isn't much of a talker. In fact, she hasn't spoken a single word for as long as I've known her. And that'll be a couple of years now. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, so Marjorie, did you listen to the new junkie brush? <laughs> I don't think she's into it. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. What? As a matter of fact, it was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. Was that the, uh, I think that was the family portrait from our dream earlier with the pig's head and whatnot. Uh, okay, so I, yeah, this carpet is filthy uh, AF. Why is this carpet so badly stained? Well, some stains just never come off. This one here is blood from when Marjorie tried to get up on her own a few months back. Oh no. The other ones are mostly toileting accidents. It's just one of those things. You'll get used to it after a while. Lovely. Okay, what now? Now, we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Please uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. The brown one... I can guess. You know. All right, taking the flannels. Ah, oh, with my bare hands. Lovely. Now fill up the sink with hot water. All right. I wouldn't mind having a sink in my room. Hot water on the go. Put the flannels in. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. I bet she doesn't, she doesn't have... doesn't need one. Yep. Yeah. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelai. Fair point. Less brushing. Done. Marjorie, my darling. It's time for your wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. How would you do this on your own? Like, man, this is uh, the job's. Marjorie's clothes are kept in there. The job. Shall we get some uh, clothes for Marjorie. Oh, we can do that in a minute. Sure. Right. The job of caretaker is really, really so hard. Still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. Alright, Marjorie, hop up in the way. I mean, mad respect for these people that uh, take care of elderly when. Uh... And now we just need to get that nighty off. It felt. wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. They should have known better. Anyway. Shall we? Shall we? What, is it time for a wash now? Marjorie, could you oh, right, lift yeah. up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Right. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. I mean, it's it... up to you. It's only been like five minutes since I started this job, so uh, I don't know. I'll go for it. Why not? I'll do it. Okay. Brilliant. This is giving me the shining. Uh, not yeah, the shining vibes. That old lady in the hotel room. <laughs> 
Alright, use the chlorine tablets with old lady. <laughs> Put her to sleep. Right, let's just... I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. Oh yeah, you do you, Maria. Don't, uh... I got this. And pretend it doesn't smell of wee. Am I... doing it right, Maria? Yeah. She's not even looking. You know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Yeah, look at her in the picture, man. Young and pretty, full of life. At 17, she fell in love with George. And they were married for 50 years. Can you imagine? 50. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George, bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. God, it broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. The city on fire. dozed off that's a comfy bed you've got here marjorie finished i suppose we should find some clothes now yeah open the wardrobe and find something you like all right marjorie i hope uh, i hope you enjoyed your bath or your wash oh, let's choose an outfit let's go with uh i don't know 290 gown too scully. Let's go with this. Oh, very classy, Marjorie. Got a <laughs> meeting with a corporate client today. It's all about business. Wait, Lorelai. I'll help you with this. Nice. <gasps> Marjorie. You look absolutely... Beautiful. Let's take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. All right, we've got one ready for the day. <laughs> now we can go to Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie, where we've just been. All right. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. Uh, let's do Dorothy. She's right next to us. Let's go see Dorothy next. Okie doke. Let's go. Alright. What's she thinking about, I wonder? What's up, Marjorie? Not a single peep. The things she saw. Or she's seen. Alright, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Caretaker Simulator 2019. So dark in here. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. That's probably... That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. <laughs> Otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag, especially first thing in the morning. It's probably not good for her joints. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. Come on now. I know you're awake. <laughs> now that's very okay. rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. All right. Here we go. Let me uh, draw the curtains. <laughs> oh, you buggers! Buggers? Oh, Dorothy, <laughs> the state of you. Rise and shine. 
uh, ready to have an awesome day. Top of the morning tea. <laughs> I feel like we need to find you a hairbrush. I feel like any of these will just piss her off, but... Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. <laughs> her face. Job done. All right. Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. We didn't need to uh, wash uh, Dorothy here. Uh, where the hell are we? Are we in the room? What's this? That garden looks pretty. Oh. Went straight into the garden. Oh, what's this? It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. Oh, let's grab it. Why not? There's a Crazy. bench. Oh, we just sit here for a minute. Take a five minute break. Our job is too hard. Reflect on our choices. All right, we're good to go, I think. Alma, I'm coming. Uh, where are we? Oh, is this the second lounge thing? Let me check. Oh, this is the second stairs. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me see. Main hall. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. Cool. So, past the nurse's station, there's Alma. Here we go. Oh, no. Alma! What in God's name are you doing on the floor? Are you okay? She's vacuuming. I'm fine, dear. Come on the other side and give me a hand, Lorelei. Just doing some yoga. Lucky lady, not a scratch on you. But... God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. <laughs> Uh, she's heavier than it's not our fault. We're young and strong. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. Exactly. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. But now we have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it, anyway? I don't know. But I'll have a look. Looks like... Mm, mm, some paper. Looks like paper? I'm not sure. up paper, yeah. Looks like... a letter. Hmm. Huh. Oh, don't tell me we have to assemble it's this. A very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. Uh, read letter, leave it alone. Shall we read it? Oh, oh my god, the curiosity is killing me. Okay, let's do it. My darling wife. I am writing this letter in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack, first thing in the morning. I have a bad feeling about this. And I think, should the worst happen, you ought to know one thing about me I've never told you before. Ah, the rest has been torn off. Oh no, did she? Oh, she probably didn't know what she was doing. Right. Oh man, that like like let's try. And now it's time for a coffee break. What? So soon? <laughs> what do you mean soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> exactly. I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, the laundry it's bag. Full of dirty nighties and wet sheets. Yuck. Let's take it. Uh, we have to do laundry with this. 
Uh, what was I saying? That, that Alma ripping that uh, loved letter really hit one of my heartstrings, man. I don't know. A dementia is, and the Alzheimer's is such a fucked up thing, man. Everything you loved, everything you knew, you just forget about it, and uh, you don't have it. Like you, I, I don't know even how to describe it. It's just shit. Everything you are just blows away like it was nothing, like you were nothing, like... Fuck. Anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, washing machine, let's That's use where it. where the dirty laundry goes. Exactly, let's put the laundry in there. You alright? I'm good, and you? Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. Oh, okay. He'd crashed his car this morning. Oh, sh I hope he's Apparently, all right. Some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about there. No. Then I thought <laughs> you mentioned a dog earlier. A uh, different dog. You yep. wouldn't have anything to do with this, would no, you? No, no, no. Completely different dog. I said dog, I'm sorry, I meant frog. Uh, surely there's one, more than one black dog. Well, what are the chances? I'm just gonna surely go with this. Surely there's more than one black dog in this city. I didn't say it was black. No? No. But it was, in fact. Mr. B mentioned that for some reason. And you knew. Uh... Interesting. Shit. So what? I saw a black dog. Yeah, I mean... It barked and growled at me. Coincidence. I found a way around, but it made me late. End of story. Exactly. We'll see. We'll see? What do you mean? I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. What's your problem? You're not the boss here, and I will help. I will keep this job, whether you like it or not. Uh... Uh, let's just go first one. I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Uh, well, thank you, Sensei. <laughs> but I've already learned that now. Uh, I want to learn how to be a care assistant. Fine. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Should give, should give respect and get respect. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm just gonna brown nose this. Fine. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case. Oh no. Go and make us all a cup of tea. Oh, okay. Oh, Maria's already on it. Go on then. I'll be down shortly. Oh, I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. Uh, I think that went. I think that went well. We gained the respect of Zoe again. I think. I'm not sure. Could be something else. <laughs>